This tutorial provides an introduction to alternative dispute resolution, commonly referred to as ADR, and the different courts in which a claim may be issued in the event it cannot be settled during the protocol phase. Overriding objective. The overriding objective is to ensure claims are dealt with justly and at proportionate cost, and a duty is imposed on parties to help the court further the overriding objective. ADR is promoted as providing a realistic and often successful means of avoiding the commencement of court proceedings. Indeed, the case management powers of the court include encouraging the parties to use ADR, whilst the practice direction on pre-action conduct and protocols, and a number of the pre-action protocols, stress that litigation should be a last resort. Failure to engage in ADR Whilst the court cannot order that the parties to a claim engage in ADR, it can impose sanctions on a party who fails to respond to, or unreasonably refuses, an offer of ADR. The court has identified that regard should be had to the following non-exhaustive factors in determining reasonableness. The nature of the dispute. The merits of the case. The extent to which other settlement methods have been attempted whether the costs of the ADR process would have been disproportionately high, whether any delay in setting up and attending ADR would have been prejudicial, and whether the ADR process had a reasonable prospect of success. A failure to respond to an offer of ADR amounts to a refusal, as a result of which cost sanctions should be imposed on the refusing party. Furthermore, failing to advise a client properly as to the merits of engaging in ADR may be a professional conduct issue. It follows that, should you consider ADR not to be appropriate at the time it is offered, you should not ignore the offer. You should respond promptly, giving clear and full reasons why ADR is not appropriate. Raise with the opposing party any shortage of information or evidence that might hinder ADR and consider how that shortage might be overcome. Confirm that you may be willing to revisit the prospect of engaging in ADR at a later date. 